All right, what's going on, y'all? Now, I know Genshin Impact is very, very, very exciting, but let me tell you, Genshin Impact is a gotcha game. And in case you don't know what the gotcha gaming experience is, for about 95% of gotchas, is that you're going to go in, you're going to feel like an absolute god, you're gonna be slaying villains and baddies left and right, and then all of a sudden, Paywall Kun's gonna come up behind you, hit you with a baseball bat, and tell you, no, 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 you don't get to progress like this unless you pay $4.99. Now, is this entirely the case for Genshin Impact? No, the game is actually in fact very generous it's a pve game you can pretty much crush everything while staying completely free to play but if you have the option to start strong or start weak i don't know why you'd pick the latter so i'm going to walk you through some hidden collectible and some gangster ass items that you can get pretty much within the first 10 minutes of the game that's going to take you from a level one crook to a level 99 mafia boss these will range from some nice EXP pickups and weapon EXP to four-star artifacts, as well as some characters as well. I'm not going to walk you through every single hidden item in the entire game, because that's going to take so much enjoyment out of the exploring aspect of you. So these will all stick within the main hub with one exception that I want to show up because it's my favorite place in the entire game to hang out. Look, I know with times like these, as bad as they are, the majority of people are going to try to stay free to play because, hey, let's be real, things are tight right now. And because of that, I'm going to do a giveaway, okay? So if you like, comment, and subscribe, you'll have a chance to win 100 bucks, and I hope you enjoyed the video. Okay, first one's going to be real simple. You're going to load into the game right here, okay? And when you see it, you're going to have Paimon, the dumb little fairy, telling you to follow her, all right? Now, you're going to tunnel vision, but before you tunnel, bro, turn left, and you're going to go over here. When you're going over here, do not hold left shift. If you do that, you're going to sprint, it's going to eat your stamina, and you're not going to make it. And now you're here, and you found yourself your very own personal boulder. But it's not just a boulder, it's a rock. But behind that rock, my god! <laughs> It's a precious chest. It has some good shit in it. Okay, so next when you're around Adventure Rank 3 or 4, uh, a NPC who I won't say the name of is going to lead you to this village called Mondstadt. Now, Mondstadt has three amazing drops that you can get fairly easily if you know where to look. One of the first places that you're going to go when you're in Mondstadt is this place called the Knights of Favonius HQ, which is right here on the map. And they're going to lead you inside. But... If you climb up the side of the Knights of Favonius HQ, not only will you get some great angles, but when you get to the top, you're gonna find a couple chests that are gonna be scattered uh, upon the little top sections here, and also a couple on the main floor as well. Once you get these ones, you can actually look across the uh, city and you'll see a nice big ass chapel. Instead of going into the chapel like the game wants you to do, I encourage you to explore the outside first. So once you make it onto the main roof after the sub roof, you're gonna look up towards the bell and you're gonna climb up there next. Underneath the bell, you're gonna find a luxurious chest that I've already opened, but trust me, it's gonna be here. It's gonna give you a shit ton of adventure rank and also some gangster ass items. But the chapel's good word and goodness does not stop at the outside. There is also a super secret bonus on the inside. Now I was pumped as shit because I did not know about this, okay? but you're going to speak to a specific NPC. You're gonna go right here and you're gonna talk to Victoria, okay? She's gonna have a couple dialogue options, but you're gonna click the uh, Monstat option and talk until she gives you a dialogue option with a treasure chest. And just in general, explore her dialogue options because there is some good stuff here. You're gonna talk to her until she gives you a treasure chest item. Now, after you press the treasure chest item, you're going to get a gangster ass item. And it isn't just a three star item, no, no. You are going to get the Bloodstained Chevalier's Goblet, okay? A four star artifact, yeah. Attack percent, you can't see, but it's attack percent, which is also absolutely fucking huge. It's gonna give you extra physical damage, and after you defeat an opponent, the charge damage and attack damage by 50% and reduce the stamina cost to zero for 10 seconds. Yes, it's a very, very good item, and probably one of the best items that you can get early game. I'm telling you, this shit will help so much on whatever character you decide to main or whatever character you play the most. Now, from there, you can leave the chapel, and I'm very excited because my chat told me this uh, about this one yesterday on twitch.tv forward slash tech tone that you should totally check out if you're having any difficulty in Genshin or if you just want to chill out and have a good time. You're going to leave the chapel. You're going to head down these stairs right here and you're going to run right on over to this little thing right here and you're going to notice a sparkle, okay? You're going to go up here. You're going to run into it and suddenly a mini event is going to happen, okay? You're going to run along this thing uh, in case you're having difficulties, I mean, I'm not because I've played so much Genshin, it's actually disgusting. 
but uh, just try to hug the middle. But if you're worried, um, hug the right side over the left side. That way you don't fall out and have to restart the event. Eat the last little hope, and you get a luxurious chest with once again, so I can showcase it here. Can give you 30 adventure rank EXP, a Berserker's Battle Mask. I believe the loot's RNG, but uh, it's going to be some nice three star items as well as some nice crystals as well to get those one stars or no items that you already have replaced. Now, the last super secret item that I want to showcase before I showcase off some other things is going to make you adventure a little bit, but I think that's very important to showcase uh, because it's good to explore. So if you want to go somewhere early that's, you know, kind of nice and you get a bonus, I recommend you head north from Mondstadt and go to Stormbearer Point. From here, you're going to check your map and you're going to notice west there's a waterfall. And hmm, what happens in waterfalls in video games? I wonder. You can sprint west. It'll probably take you about half a minute or so. It's pretty easy to, to uh, traverse around the map. Also, make sure that when you head over here, you pick up a teleport point. <laughs> okay, make sure you pick that up because we're about to go severely off the beaten path and there's no way to get back up other than talking to the first teleport point that you get at the beginning of the game and you'll also get 50 adventure rank EXP uh, for each of these teleport points that you pick up. From here, you're gonna go to the waterfall and let me introduce you to my favorite spot to chill out in the entire game. You're gonna go right here. Oh God, I love this place. You're gonna go right here and on this little pillar, there's gonna be another luxurious chest that I fell off of. Bruh. But it's okay. You'll uh, you'll get your luxurious chest. Make sure not to fall off like I did. You'll get that 30 EXP. You get to enjoy a nice waterfall. The ambiance here is crazy, as well as some free goodies. So the next thing we're going to talk about is that when you're starting a gacha game, you're obviously going to want to have as many characters as possible because it's exciting, right? It's fun. Uh, I'm going to let y'all know of the three characters that you get off the bat. That way, in case you do have like a severe gacha itch because you're not getting that many characters, just know that these characters are coming. The first character you're going to get is Amber, okay? And, uh, you know, she's your standard archer. She can shoot a fire shot, shoot multiple arrow shots. Uh, if you shoot fast, you'll shoot regular arrows. If you hold it for a bit, you'll get a fire shot. Okay, from there, you can drop a little dummy. This will pick up aggro. Um, things will hit it, and eventually when it expires, it's going to explode and do fire damage to everything. Okay? And then also for her ultimate ability, she has a rain of arrows that will hit everything and ignite them. Um, I'm a big waifu over meta guy, but if you're a little bit worried about it and you want my opinion, I think Amber is okay. I, I think you can totally use her, but I don't think she's necessarily the greatest unit in the bunch if you're worried about who you should invest in or not. But once again, I highly consider playing who you like over what you think is good. Trust me, bro. It's a PvE game. You don't have to sweat that hard. Next character you're going to get is Kaya. Uh, you know, good slash. Um, when you hit things enough, he'll be able to teleport behind him and hit him in the back. He has a nice E that'll inflict cryo damage anything, slow him down and apply the ice debuff. And he also has... Uh, a nice AOE freeze effect, whatever he gets near will freeze, and also if you swap to other characters, it'll persist through the swapping, which you can do some crazy shit with. Once again, Kai is like an okay character, in my opinion. Next, you'll get Lisa, and Lisa is one of my favorite characters in the game. Not only does she have big ass anime titties and booty, uh, she's also a long distance uh, like AOE caster that shoots out lightning bolts. She has a dope ass charging effect that she can do and zap everything in a perimeter that you have to stand while uh, charging. But she also can drop an electric lantern that'll drop everything uh, around her, electrocute it, apply the debuff, all that shit. And it also persists through character swappage, which is fucking crazy okay she summons the goddamn electric thunderdome and the last character that you're gonna get later for free is gonna be an adventure rank 20 and you're gonna get zhang Lang. uh zhang Lang, in my opinion uh, once again lisa is also very good in my opinion zhang Lang is also very good uh one of my favorite characters in the entire game and one of the characters i enjoy playing with the most in the entire game uh, her attack and may just use a spear. It just looks so fucking sick. Uh, she can also drop a bear that eats a jalapeno. And when he bites it, his breath gets too hot. So he vomits out fire. That shit's hilarious. It also persists through character swappage, which is really good to combo with. And then she also has this gangster ass uh, AOE fire attack. And it summons a javelin around it that's going to hit everything, deal fire, ignite them, apply debuffs. The fucking works. And she also has a super gangster combo that I have not seen 
seen anybody talk about when I talked about it that I'm going to be showcasing very soon in another video. So if you want to see that, make sure to like and subscribe. Now, not only was I here to show off the characters, but I am in Dadaupa Gorge for a very specific reason. Um, around Adventure Rank 7 or 8, I recommend that you head here on the map. It's southeast from Mondstadt, okay? You're going to go here, and there's going to be a really good quest to pick up. Uh, pretty much all you got to do is take down three camps. One will be here, one will be here, and one will be here. Once you take down all three camps, you're going to get a chest that's going to be right over there underneath those two bullet stones and uh let's just say it's got some real good shit in it all right i got through that shit as quick as possible okay believe me but trust me if you follow this shit you're gonna start crazy strong and not to mention it's gonna like showcase the pure beauty that is genshin impact where the more you explore the more you get rewarded okay i encourage you to think outside the box and whenever you see something make sure you explore all of it I mean like oh yeah it's a rock oh but is it though it's good shit there's a lot of hidden treasures in genshin i can't wait for y'all to find them and uh i just really hope y'all like this game i'm not gonna lie it's been a long time since i've liked the game as much as genshin i'm going a little bit crazy for it i'm not gonna lie but uh sure to like comment and subscribe if you want a chance at 100 bucks i hope you enjoyed the video peace